to be able to discern between truth and falsehood. And we continue to pray that your mercy will fall mightily upon all who testify here, both witnesses and perpetrators, and your reconciliation spirit will embrace each and every one in this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Emma Bishop, for that counsel. Are we ready? But before we um, uh, turn to you, just one little um, thing, uh, because we are all members of the United Nations, and for the past 30, 40 years, every single day on the 24th of October, we say Happy United Nations Day to each other. So Happy United Nations Day to all members of the United Nations and all the people that are there. It was on the 24th of October, 1945, that the Charter of the UN came, it came into force. And uh, 20 years later, the Gambia joined the UN. Happy United Nations Day to all of you. Please proceed. Sorry about that little intervention. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good morning to you. Good morning to all the commissioners and good morning to the public. Um, we are ready to proceed. May I ask that the witness be brought in? The witness will be testifying in Mandinka, therefore I ask um, the interpreters to be ready. Hi, Fatu Kamara. Mte Fatu Kamara. Mte Fatu Kamara. Uswere. Mbenka Lila Ko. Mbenka Lila Ko. I'll speak the truth. Mbe Tonya Le Falajan. Mbe Tonya Damma Le Falajan. The whole truth. Tonya Damma Ndro. Tonya Damma Ndro. I'm nothing but it. Alu Nte Fem Fala Mim Manke Tonya Ati. Nte Fem Fala Jam Manke Tonya Ati. So help me God. Foto Alama Ale Yendema. Alama Ndema Ala. Good morning, Mrs. Kamara. Ako isama, Mrs. Kamara. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the TRRC. Ako mbe bismillahirla TRRC Jambi. Alhamdulillahi rabbi alamin. In spite of your um, current personal circumstances, thank you for coming and agreeing to testify. Ako ila kulu bilari nyaw nyandi nyama nyintembe mbari Abi numbara la puru isonta yena sede yaro la jambi Alhamdulillah rabbi alami As you know the commission um, is currently looking into some of the incidents Ako wari fangasi sobe kumusu lube kodo le jube kang meni alonko ulu ketale nu Including um, gender based violence and so your testimony today will assist us in understanding what happened to you and what you observed. Before we begin, I would like to tell you a few of the rules um, of this commission. You are speaking um, in Mandinka and I'm speaking in English. Mandinka Kangol to Barate Membe Yininka Latabidiam Kang Angale Kangolto. 
Therefore, please allow a few seconds in between um, our speeches. Akoto isi watin dumbula alla dia mu kangulu tema na te dia mu taya kangoji ina mana jabiro ke yedi doman dimpuru alla kuma kangulu kana sele nyokang. To allow for the interpretation and um, avoid overlapping speak. Speeches. Also, when you're giving your answers, if you can um, pause in between um, your sentences, to allow for interpretation so that um, everything you say will be interpreted clearly. Do you understand that, ma'am? I understand. If at any point my questions are unclear or you would like me to repeat, Please stop me and ask me um, and I will do so. So do not hesitate to ask me to explain a question if you don't understand. During your testimony today, we will address um, some background information. Just so the commission knows who you are. And then we will focus on the incident that happened in 2016. And we will focus on what happened to you as well as what you observed. And then we will conclude with the impact of um, what happened. The impact on you as well as your family members. So in order to begin, can you please state your full name for the record? I start in the name of God. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thanks to Allah. Tantove Allah ta'ala mansoye, tantove nda mansoye. Thanks to Allah. Mansoye miyembu lambalu tafu biluo. Mkana si mfawa nga mfandanti, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I thank, I thank the Almighty Allah who created me and gave me this chance to come and sit down here today and testify. Min kata de, April 14. What happened took place on April 14. Between the Lamuel at the beginning, Kalale, at the beginning, Kalale, not a union Kamena, he bole Jabila. So I will be asking you questions and then you can respond to the questions. A Katabe, union Kalale, between Nay, union Kamena, is your Jabi. And that way we will cover everything that we need to cover. Saja inter at a left and a footer da oda, be footer la jail, inshallah. So for now, if we can just focus on um, background information about you. Can you tell the commission your full name? My name is Fatuma Takamara. Uh, Mrs. Kamara, do you know when and where you were born? Mrs. Kamara, you know well, I forgot my ID card at home. I am 47 years old. It is on my ID card, but unfortunately I left it at home. And do you recall the year when you were born? For Isa Sango, Hakilo Sango, Lone, Wuluta Sango Menkono. 
No, I cannot recall the year. I just want to make sure because I have a different age here. That's why I'm asking. But if you cannot recall, that's fine. Ako alafta kumu yako e kato men futa e men be safari nje woni te men fui faratale wala na be njini karola. Ako barwairi hakilo mamuta kubi tunatana tensi tente. Um, where were you born? Do you know? Ako e wulu ta sati jumal to fui jelo fui alone bang. Ah, wuni alone kani wulu ta base. I was born at base. Um, presently, um, are you working? No, I am not employed at this moment. Have you um, undergone any kind of um, formal education? I've never gone to school. In terms of um, your work experience, can you tell us what kind of work you were doing before, um, well, before 2016? I was in the country in 2016. I'm a petty trader. Can you tell us um, what happened to you in 2016? sixteen Okay. Yes, I can. Please start from the beginning and take your time. A follow kabring a follow dulato yela watu taya sata duma duma. From time to time, I'll raise my hand. Watu ni watu sikari ni alo waka na ya bulu bulindi salongo la kwa lafte ni ningkala. Just to give you an indication that I would like to ask you some follow-up questions. Wale mtama nsi yoro tika ita ndi la kwa atefana kumale baada la lafte ni ningkala mena. And then I will allow you to continue. Mm. So please start by telling us um, what happened in April 20 in April 2016. Saying mm. April 2016, Alhamdulillah. It coincided with the first day, and that day we had a marriage ceremony. Uh -huh. I left my home to go and attend that marriage ceremony. Uh -huh. There is a type of grass called hamareo in Maninka. Uh -huh. I went to the circular market. There is a man, a Malian there. Uh -huh. I went there to ask this type of grass from him. He told me to go to Kanifin at a place called Silakunda. There is a lady who came from Mali who is selling this type of grass. I left that market and I was on my way to Kanifing. When I arrived at the Johnson, I found a lot of people at the Johnson. Then I asked a fuller man, I asked him what's happening here. He said he, didn't, he doesn't know what's going on there. I stood there looking at what's going on. I recognized some people there. Then I joined the crowd to go and ask from those people. Um, if I may ask you a few follow-up questions. You said that you were going, um, you were attending, you are supposed to attend a marriage ceremony. Which member, um, whose marriage ceremony were you supposed to attend? My younger brother. My younger brother. My younger, my younger sister's daughter was going for marriage that day. 
And were you dressed to attend the ceremony? And ye ye parele ye la dumfeng kendo leta purukata ma be obengo to bang. Ngam parele kai. Yes, I was dressed for that ceremony. Do you remember um, the date um, when this um, ceremony was supposed to happen? The date of the event you're talking about now? Kanyi manyo ta memfote mfoy hakilo subula anyanta kela lumu mena fosha lumu fono nyabang. Anyanta kela ara o ara misole dumo suto. It should have taken place on that Thursday night, which is the night of the Friday. But do you recall the actual date um, and the month? Ako foy hakilo subula karo nina keta karo mengkono aning karo tilo. Well, it, I cannot call the uh, the uh, name of the month in English, but it, the loan amount in Mandinka is Arajabo, and he, I was in fact fasting that day because people used to fast that month some some days. Can you tell us um, what what time of the day this was when you saw that crowd? By that time, the sun has gone up for some time. Do you know if it was before or after the afternoon prayers? It was before the afternoon prayers. You said that you stopped at a junction. On your way to Kanifing. Can you tell us which junction you were at? Is there any landmark that you recall? This junction is at Westfield. Westfield is at Westfield. It was the main junction at uh, Westfield. There is a way which goes to Ibo Town and another way which, go, which goes to Kanifing. You said you saw a lot of people at that junction? Yes, I, I found a lot of people there. Can you describe the people that you saw? For example, please, please continue. Uh, what I can say is the majority of people there are members of the UDP party. And how could you tell that they were members of the UDP party? Uh, there are people whom I'm used to because I used to meet or and walk with them. In the crowd, did you see um, men as well as women? Yes, I saw women. Yes, it's a combination of men and women. What about children? Did you see any children in the crowd? Yes, there were some children. Were they um, holding or were they holding anything or were they doing anything at the time? They were holding nothing in their hands. They were doing nothing also. So you said you spoke to a fuller man? I asked the flaman what is happening here with all these people. He also replied me that I've also just arrived but nothing is happening. I'm just standing watching. Uh -huh. Then I took out my mobile. Uh, I gave him my mobile. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was somebody holding a banner and something was written on it. 
Then I told him to look at the banner for me and Ikaya uh, Natale. Uh, I told him to take a photo of the banner that the man was holding with my mobile. Can you describe the banner? It was a white banner. And why did you ask the fuller man to take a photo of the banner for you? And I've never been to school, so if I go out with my mobile and I see something a writing somewhere which I have interest in, I always take a photo of it. When I go home, I show it to my children for them to read it for me. Um, can you tell us what happened after that? After that, I saw a man called Falang. Um, did you know this person, Falang? Yes, I know him. What is Falang's full name? Falang Tona Kontongo Mumuneti. Falang Sonko. He's called Falang Sonko. At the time, did Falang Sonko hold any position? Akotembo Falang from Makamale Babulu Bang for Palasile Babulu. Palasile Babulu. Yes, he's a man uh, with a position. Mum Palasile Babulu. To until we were married, Anna Sonko Biela, UDP la Dindin Kafo Biela. Uh, he was the head of the UDP youth wing. Apart from Falang Sonko, did you recognize anyone else? Falang Sonko Kola. Femmo do sute jele bang? Awo kola nata solo je. Then after that I saw someone called Solo. Can you tell us Solo's full name? Solo Tona Kontong Mumuneti. Solo Sande. Solo Sandeng. At that time, did Solo Sandeng hold any particular position? Ako tembo fo palasile be Solo Sandeng falam bulu je bang? Yes, he is also a man of position. Can you tell us um, which position he held? He, he was holding a big position there. Is it correct that you don't know which position he held? Yes, I forgot the name of the position. But you know he held a position within the UDP at the time. Yes, yes. When you saw Falang Sonko and Solo Sandeng, did you speak to them? Yes, I talked to them. Can you tell us about that conversation? I asked Falang, what is happening? He told me there is nothing going on. I, I, I said, no, something is going on. What brought all of you to this position, to this place here? Uh -huh. He told me, in fact, I have been to your home and I was told that you have gone to a marriage ceremony. He told me, go to that marriage ceremony. When you come from there, then I'll come to you and explain everything to you. I went to meet Solo. By that time, Solo was talking. I went until I held up his shirt. He I told him solo, tell me whatever is happening. I'm going to a marriage ceremony so that when I go I'll have a steady mind. He told me nothing is happening. Go to the marriage ceremony and keep a steady mind. I also didn't go. I decided to go and sit nearby that fuller man. I was sitting there watching people. I bought an apple from that fuller man. I decided to cancel my trip to Kanifin to go and buy that type of grass I wanted. I was sitting there looking at the people. 
ngaji police na ta inform ko mali bala i saw a policeman coming with in white uniform anata ay solo munta he came and held solo and solo bi dia mo kam mol nata ni solo do ko bundia wol he was talking uh, agreeing with solo and people came and took uh, the policeman's hand from solo's shirt so they continued standing on the road there police in from koy mati woni tata the man the policeman in white uniform decided to leave sai bi ra tata de faram be sirin bi hanin bi de after the policeman left i also continued kept on sitting there sai ni flo bi di amula koy sanu ko ko mo jubi paral natal then that's the time when the flo told the flo man told me well uh, my banter mate look behind you the paras are already here I would like to ask you a question. Akabe nyinin kala, akabe nyinin kala. You mentioned that the policeman was wearing a white uniform. Ako e police ni e don di ka kubide uniform ko yore dum. Ha. Yes. Can you describe his entire uniform? Ako e uniform o mu me o foye kabo asata nye ban kurto ni don di ko mun kuloro fo sonu le bela. Abi em ko e malet. He said the uniform, the trouser and the shirt are all white. Can you describe the police um, officer that you saw? Nim police mu police ke me ya jo nya mo nya di lom. Ay ba no soto do man dinde. Well he's well he's a well built man. Am anke mo fi mo fanat. He is not a dark person. He is not dark in color. While he was talking to um Mr. Solo Sanden, could you hear what they were saying? Patro mo be diam kan Solo Sanden ye foi ke la kumo mo no le bay ka men fo. Ani baro tuma mantere yimbe si nate mo jam fatal. No, I, I cannot hear what they were saying because there was some little distance between us. You told us that he held um, Solo Sanding's shirt and they were arguing. Yenyi mfoko, I Solo Sanding adondi ko muta bitungi be diyamu ka wonya munta nyo sabad diyamu le bete ma. Ha, wonyo sabad diyamu le. Yes, they were agreeing when he was holding Solo's shirt. And then people intervened and separated. Mo eko mo lo nata ye solo la don di ko bua buloko no. Yes, yes. You said not long after that happened, the paramilitary arrived. Is that correct? Eko wo kola lem amame para para militaro lo nata. Ah. Yes. How did you know um, that the people who arrived are from the paramilitary? Ya lo nyadi lo kony lo mu para military oleti. Unyi nyadi lo le uniform le la. I recognize them with by their uniforms. Can you describe their uniform? Ila uniform o lo be nyaadi le. Uniform o mo bulu le. They were wearing blue uniforms. Were they um from what you could observe were they holding or carrying anything? Ila koro siro to fenu le be bulu lo kono bang ini menu nata. Ani ne do le je do ko le bulu. Well some of them were holding batons. Um what were the others holding those who were not holding batons Do kota munu bulu mum fem fason na lebe wulu bulu Do kota munu bulu ba bur kam wol no Those without without batons were trying to chase people away When the paramilitary arrived can you tell us how they arrived Paramilitary lu futata je tu mena ina ta nyaadi le Where they please continue Ako tenten biru nata biru be nala mbe ko dirinne moto no rin kolale biru fulo ya fa nyan ko ngan ko di jube ngaji e wujita de kem in a truck and they came uh, the, the, the area they came i was uh, uh, they came through my back it was the fuller man who told me look behind you the paras are here so that's the time i turned and saw them but they were alighting from a truck you said they came from your back do you know from which direction they came ako e wari na te ko malale foy hakilo say tan di laba e bota ma fam min tole la ani budi mo tolo tele ngaji no i cannot say it was after the truck stood they started alighting and i was informed that's the time i looked back and i saw them do you remember the size of the group of paramilitary that you saw was it a large group or was it a small group paramilitary lu menu nata je mo jamale nata bang fodo ni man sia bake o mo jamale nata je there were many of them and when you say many can you give us an estimate ni ko mo jamale nata foy sia yiri kano ila mira ro teton ro ka fo ni mo nangam isio sile ha inda yiri kano no i cannot estimate 
do you believe that there were more than 10 for example ako santi o kamo fo isla mira roto isiata mo tango tile ban ah na men sia mo tango tile ba tango sila well if they are if they are not more than 10 i'm sure they were about the size of 10 when they arrived um you mentioned that those without batons were chasing people in yum foko do ko te me nubulu wala be molu bay kan nu ha yes can you ex um, describe to us what you observed? What am I going to carry back? I can't hear the lady. I'm going to cross it. I'm going to judge. I'm going to cross it. I'm going to put them in normal. I'm going to start. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. What I observed was that when they were chasing people, they started kicking people's feet under them. If anybody falls down, they will catch your feet, drag you, and throw you inside the truck. Please continue. Akoya continue. Sana bido kata mall yanyanta ubobori kama mall noma dula biyoto. When that happened, people dispersed running helter skelter at into to towards all directions. Mall be faringi yenu nyata wani nyata yellow tewa mall be yanyata mall be ubobori to ubobori kama mall no. The place was fully crowded, but within a few minutes, the place became completely empty. Sana tewe sirinda tewe sirin sirula to. So uh, where I was sitting, I kept on sitting down there. A man came running and stood in front of me. I told him not to run away, just stay at one place, don't run. I told him to recite the, uh, uh, the Quranic verse called Yasin. He also stood there reciting yes, the Sora, the Sora called Yasin. So when people were thrown into the truck and I was still sitting down there, the paras were still coming. Our road leading towards Ibo town, a lady came out from that direction. He, the ladies clapped her hands and shouted. He told the, uh, she told the paramilitary, the people you are looking for, okay. here is one of them sitting down here. She told the para, this, uh, this person happens to be a, an enemy of this state, a very bad person who hates this state. So after this lady said these words, two paramilitary men came after me. Um, did you know that woman? No, I don't know this lady. I don't know this lady. Do you know why she said that? I don't know why she said such words against me. Can you tell us what happened when the two paramilitary came towards you? Say bring him paramilitary mo flo lunate ka mune nata ke. Bring him para mo flo nata. When these two people approached me, akonye wule wule ta. One one of them told me to get up. I got up. The moment I stood up, the other one gave me a nasty slap. And uh, 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 he wounded me until my ear, behind my ears, tired were bleeding. The other one became angry and asked him, why did you slap her? The, the, the other one went on saying that when I told her to get up, to get up she got up. She she didn't resist. Why are you beating her? He replied, even tomorrow I will beat her up. I told the other one, don't argue between yourselves. I, I, I told them that I swear by God. If, if, if God is the uh, uh, creator of truth, and I didn't offend this man, he beat me, he will see it. I told him, I will be the last person that you will ever beat. So just to be clear, you were sitting there. 
Uruka kumose nende itebe siri ne. Yes. Two paramilitary officers walk towards you. Paramilitary fulla tamata kane te kang. Yes. And one of them slapped you. Kilindo ye tulogun. Yes. Did that person say anything to you before or after that? Omari me ye tulogun. I kumale fo ye jalna be tulogun no fo ayo tulogun kola ye kumale fo. I nendro leke. He insulted me. He was that before he slapped you? I am named Jana Betulo Bunalonga Yenem Bamfoa Tulubundro Kola Longa Yenem. I am Tulo Bunotman attending. He slapped me, then insulted me. And what did he say to you? I am named I Munafoye. I am named Yaol. He instead me, he insulted me, a very nasty insult. Based on what he said to you, do you know um, what his reason was for doing that to you? I am Nendiro Menkela Wanya. For your Dalilo Lone Munana, I don't need the first one for you. Ah, oh, poor. No opposition yet, Nayo Fanyabari Muso Yolafai. Because just because uh, his, the lady who shouted told them that I am a member of the opposition, I think that's the only reason. You said after um, the other officer intervened and they argued amongst themselves and you told him that you would be the last person that he'd slap? Yes, exactly. Can you tell us what happened next? They took me to the vehicle and told me to climb up. I told them I cannot climb by myself. They took me up and threw me inside the vehicle. Then the vehicle departed. Um, was this, I believe you mentioned that it was a truck earlier, is that correct? Yeah, that was the same truck. When you entered the truck, were there other people inside that truck? Bring Yes, there were many people inside the truck. Um, were those people paramilitary officers or were they civilians? They were civilians. Do you recall how many civilians were in that truck? Well, it could be up to 40 something people. Can you tell us what happened next? After that, the vehicle started and left. They took me to the PIU camp. When we arrived there, they told us to alight from the vehicle and we, we, we got down. They said, let's stand under the sun. We stood in line under the sun. One man came there and told them, tell these people, remove these people from the sun. People are not well now. That's the time when they took us into a big house. We all sat down on the ground. You told us that um, they took you to the PIU camp. Can you tell us where that is located? It was uh, near the KMC uh, headquarters. And um, where exactly would that be? Like from Westfield, how far? How far is it? Westfield, it's not far from the Westfield main junction. After Westfield, you go to uh, 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 the, the, the you go to the Gamsel, and from there you go to KMC, and after the KMC. Uh, you go to another office and then from there is the PIU. It's not far away from even a road, the road leading to our home. You mentioned that you were arrested with um, about 40, 40 or so people. 
yenyu mfuko ye ini menu muta menu be motoko no je asiata motan na noti yes you already told us that you had been physically assaulted um, because the officer slapped you yenyu mfuko wa atara ye lipa le foka pare katu para kilo ni ye tulo bunne yes do you know if anything um, happened to any of the individuals that were arrested along with you fo ila cross road fo kudo ketala wo mobolu la ye menu fanalu muta je wolu ani ko man ke wala No I didn't observe anything happening to anybody there at that time. Can you tell us what happened after they moved your group out of the sun and into the building at the PIU camp? Al be PIU camp to tumo men yali bondi tilo ko to tumo men han fo alu dun taw bumba ko no munena take wo kola. Sa ibran dun taw bumba ko no. When we were inside that main big big room. Nyato ko dam mal be nyo ko mandina. Their leaders all called one another. Okay la komini su su ni buay su godi they were behaving like if a witch sees romit time biru be na tawato no ye ka cha commencer pour nyanta na ko la la nyaan that's the time they started discussing amongst themselves what they are going to do to us when you say they were like in your words which is who saw romit a ko la kuma kawbe ko ni buay su godi what do you mean by that a ko la kuma ko to mu muneti Ole mun tikay wentel be falale la nyaaton ko that looks like their elders their leaders the way they were behave, behaving looks like they were going to kill all of us and can you tell us a bit more about how they were behaving ibe ila o manya me ya fo nya ibe ma kan nya de la la taw le fonu lon la ibe kuma ko mo fo la moli atul be tenne al be tenne they were very using very harsh words against us in uh, uh, insulting us saying you people are like this you people are like that saying just bad words for us you said after that they were discussing amongst themselves about what to do yenyu mfoko ibe ka cha kan ni da molu tema bina men kelala yes can you tell us what happened next bidu okola munena take cha okola ke do biji o nata fo yam ko bakoli akay ni manjar diam jamala one man was there then he turned and told young kubakoli there is no more talk there is not much talk about this akobar ni kete la du lale to kmc lem so far this happened at your place at kmc here sa ya nya djube anya katia ali wulo yeta now let's see and let's discuss this and allow them to go young kubakoli ko hani young kubakoli said no akato ke no la he cannot do that akabeta afala usman sonko he said he is going to inform usman sonko no ya la nyaami whatever usman sonko decides a botan telefo bumba ko no that that's the time he left us in that room at be ambesir bumba ko nyaatli wala tata dunji he went into another office directly opposite the building where we were sitting otomani yankoba sonko do mandin ko that's the time the another yankoba sonko the mandin ka man Obelo ren telefe bumba ko na jantema he was standing uh, between us amongst us in that bill in that room before you proceed dan ni tenteng you mentioned the yankuba koli yenyu foko yankuba koli did you know yankuba koli prior to that day ako fo yankuba koli lon ne jan ni ngolu be sila nga lon de kende ke i know him very well can you tell us how you know him ya lon nya di le nga lo ot ma nana di aka nana filo to football wala ji since he was a young man he comes to the field to play football where i live he comes to the field near our home what was his position at the time par wo tembo do ni mbeke la tumo wena mum palace le babulu oto ma palace ta bulu de abe abe oto ma be karan wala hane ako ibali muta la tumo men la kale oto ma tele ma ne meot This thing happened when he was the mayor KMC KMC And what about Usman Sonko who was Usman Sonko at the time Ako Usman Sonko juma la moti wo tembo Usman Sonko fa na minister la tino Usman Sonko was the then minister So you believe that when Yankuba Koli referred to Usman Sonko he was talking about the minister at the time ako wala nyinti ko ako abe ay 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 minister man nak mo fo wala usman sonko ti ha yes so after yanko bakoli went um went to another office you said that another man
came. Iko bring us yangu ba kuli tata duo officeo kuno modo nata. Yangu o yangu ba do yangu ba mandingo. Then the 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 other the man who came was the man called Yangu ba songo. How did you know his name was Yangu ba songo? Yato lo nyadi lo kuni nomu Yangu ba songo di. Atele mo police ole nyato ngote no. He was the head of the police at that time. Can you tell us what happened when um, Yanko Basonko came? Say, I'm afraid you're going to get a bit of Yanko Basonko nata. When Yanko Basonko nata, nata lo amkun toto ambe sirindu ma ayambe muru muru kanjuwe. When Yanko Basonko came into the room, he stood and looked. All of us went round looking at us. By that time, we were all sitting on the ground. Kedo nata. Another man came. Bafana nata lo amkun tonga oki wana ngamati tolo. He also came and stood over us. But that man, I don't know him. He said, "Ah, you people have destroyed." Uh, I, I feel sorry for you people. He said, "It's now time for elections, and you people decided to come out like this. I feel sorry for you people." Then Yankuba Koli came back from that office. He came walking quickly. Yankuba Songko kaya sila mbekele nyari. Yankuba Songko asked him and said, "What are we going to do?" Ako minister ko nunyo kudeta le kanyo samba mile two b. Then he said, "The minister has informed him that these people wanted to stage a kudeta. Let's take them all to mile two." When you heard that, biri omoi. How did you feel? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 nyadi le, yata nyadi le. Biri omoi. I I just had faith in God because whatever happens I know was destined by God. Because at that point you didn't even know what was happening. God wa tembo ite fangu malum mune bekeka. Hani malum bekenga biri ninkeo e nimfo. I did I didn't know what was happening but after this man uttered those words. Biri o kenga mfansi alala dumunu fana biya ngole onkanya mfansi alala. When he said these words, I decided to uh, hand my. Uh, I decided to leave everything in God's hands, and that's how. What, that's what I told those others around me. Let's leave everything with God. Can you tell us what happened after they um, they said that? Bring all your kuma kumfo be kola mule na taki. Bira yo kuma kumfo. After he said those words, na ta nogo njai bundi amkono. They came and took nogo njai from among us. And uh, some men who are from the Kafu Bayo. Uh, from the Kombo, a man called Kafu Bayo. Kafu Bayo. Utel ke da ke dan tandal ke ke saba. There were three men and logo njai. They were taken away. You've mentioned. Um, Nogo Nja, you've mentioned Kafu Bayo. Did you recognize anyone else in the group that was taken to the PIU? Ako yo mulu mulu samba PIU wanya atelu mene yali samba ye Nogo Nja ni Kafu Kola foe modo sute jele bang. Ha moja wali wiji yo Falan Sonko nyo. Kwe menka nina tuwa lela. Yes, there were many people like Falan Sonko. I just forget names. You mentioned that earlier that day you had seen Falang Songko and Solo Sanding. Then you phone unko ate ulungola ye Falang Songko jele anin Solo Sanding. Yes, yes. Were they with your group at PI at the PIU camp? For you phone alu be mutale ye na the PIU camp oto ye. Ha, ngomwa Solo na the PIU camp oto ye. Iman Solo na the. Ha ni. Yes, we were taken there, but Solo was not brought to the PIU camp. What about Falang Songko? Falang Songko dum until no bigil. Yes, he was with us there. So you told us that they came and they took away three men, including Kafu Bayo. Yen yin foko biri na ta ye muke sabale samba Kafu Bayo be oke olle kono. As well as Nogo Injai. Ani Nogo Injai. Ha. Yes. Did they say anything to them um, before they took them away? Fo ye kumale fo je banja ni be nyilu mutala ke bonda le kono ke samba. Hanya untuk nak zara uyu talk komandi, uyu letak aku yang fundi uyu dan kau fundi tamu dia kotak. They they didn't say anything. They just came and start and call these people's names. Then they told them to come out, and these people came out and they just took them away. 
Do you know where they took them to? Yalla ne samba dame bang. Hani otuma malu samba dame. No, I, I didn't know where they were taken to. Can you tell us what happened after that? Biro bata la mune na take. Biro bata la una ren telefona bula yambulo angof kambula mutoba kono. Well, after that, they came back to us, and we were handcuffed and uh, put aboard a truck. When you were um, put aboard the truck, did you see um, the individuals that were taken away, Nogoinjai and others? Biri yatel bulandi omoto kono yali samba. Yeni mo lu melu follow bondi alu kono Nogoinjai ni wodolu. Foi na ata uli jelebang. Hani mo jere. No, I didn't see them. Can you tell us um, where they took you when they put you on the truck? Mile two. Mile two. They took us to mile two. Can you describe to us what happened when you arrived at mile two? When we arrived at mile two, we alighted from the vehicle. They told us to stand and they are going to take photos of us. Babaro wara ma bi yete omo komi chiano leti. A big babaro. Babaro. There was a big plank of wood. Oyo leke mol kawala. And this thing had a small chain which they put uh, uh, on our necks. Kole mo criminal o leta manse road. They told us that this is the sign. This is what you do to criminals. Nte man son mang na purka do no do nte nyo lege o kola fala na ta fanya kunya tu yo ya do. I, uh, initially, I refused for that uh, uh, piece of wood to be put on my neck. I had a push and pull with them, but later on, Falang told me, don't worry, leave them to put it on your neck. That's the time they put it in, on my neck. Then they took photos of all of us. Then they took me to another place. There was an old woman there who they call Ma. I heard them calling her Ma. She called somebody amongst us. Uh, and, and said, I'm begging you people to leave, to release this woman. And she told them, this woman is, look at her house, well dressed she is. She used some other things like, uh, 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 she... Uh, had already painted her legs and hands. This woman didn't leave her home to come for a demonstration. This lady Ma appealed to appealed to this man, but they still refused until the man started insulting. I told the old man, uh, don't worry, leave them. Wherever God is not uh, present, then that's an empty thing. Then Ma stopped appealing to them. Up until that point, mm -hmm. did they tell you why you were being detained at mile two? No, they didn't tell us anything except insults and saying that we are criminals. Did they ask you any questions before they took a photo of you? We were just questioned our addresses, where we are from. After that, nothing else. And this um, old lady Ma, did you know her before? Uh, I never saw her. That was the first time I was seeing her. So after she argued with um, the um, police officers, mm. saying that based on the way you were dressed, you don't look like someone who was going for a demonstration. What happened after that conversation? Then uh, they sent for a woman inside the prison there to come. Mm -hmm. 
That's the time I told them that, well, as for me, I am fasting, and now I want to cut my fast. They told me what's laying await for you. <laughs> if you know that, you will not even talk about cutting your fast. Then I kept quiet. Later on, they came for me and took me into another room. When I was taken into that room, I found some other women in there. That the time Fatuma Jawara informed them that this woman is fasting. Please help her to cut her fast. That was the time they offered me some water. I drank some water. But there was no food there. Then we, we went to bed like that. After uh, it was a long time into the night, I got up and performed ablution. After performing ablution, then I started praying the Nafila prayers. After just finishing the prayer, saying Salam Alaikum, a man opened the door and stood over me. And said, Fatu Kamara, Fatu Matajawara. That was, that by that time, Fatu Matajawara was lying down. I, I, I shook her leg. I told her that somebody is asking for us. Then I, I asked him to allow me to go to the restroom. I went to the restroom. I was wearing a trouser, then I took off my car, my, my veil. I tied it around my waist. I tied it until it was very strong. Then I came out. Then they took us. There, there was a lady called Banna who went along with us. She, that Banna took us. They returned Fatumata Jawara's bag and gave it back to her. Uh, Fatumata Jawara told her, take along the bag. Then Banna asked them, what are you going to do with these women? The man said, "This woman, we, 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 we are going to deal with them. Even if they don't die, they will never be able to uh, benefit themselves again." That was the time when Banna said, "I've heard from my grandma that even in war." However bad or however worse the fighting was, they don't do anything to the women. But the man replied to Banna that these are not women, these are just like men. And we were there sitting down, a vehicle came. When that vehicle arrived, they put me inside that vehicle. And Fatmata Jawara was also put inside the vehicle. Plus a lot of other people. They took us to the NIA. Um, still focusing on your time at mile two. I mean, the Aliyawa men can mile two. Do you remember what time of the day you arrived at mile two? For a kilo samuda, what did you malum if it at a mile two? Was it before or after um, you were supposed to cut your fast? It was before cutting of the fast. You told us that um, Nogo Njai was taken away at um, the PIU camp. Uh, yes. When you, um, while you were at mile two, you mentioned um, Fatumata Jawara. I mile two to me na Fatumata Jawara fananto foje. Yes, we were there together. Um, was Fatma Tajaura also at PIU with you? 
ako fofat bana ja wara fana mbali fele no watu men albe piu yes we were all there apart from the three women that you've mentioned yourself Fatma Tajawara and Nogo Njai were there any other women who were also detained yeah yeah tell you musu sabo men foteng atel atel men be yo kanje fo atel ko la musu do fan tata jele num bang alikon hani no you mentioned um a lady called Bana e muso to fo ka fo me ye Bana mhm officer lem o manke o she 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 was an officer or oh, she's an officer she was not a detainee Um was she an officer of the police or the prison? Mo prison do ko lalti bang fo police o le mo. Prison do ko lalti. She was a prison officer at that time. What about the man who came to collect um you and Fatma Tajawara and others? Nyin ke o menata kanali kamma je tin Fatma Tajawara ni mo dolu. Can you describe him? Tamari Kenya kala mo fono nyele bang. Hani nto kalongo fono. No, I cannot describe him. Do you recall if he was wearing a uniform or not? So, hakilo ba kana a uniform wala dumbang? Ama uniform do. He wasn't wearing a uniform. You said that um he said a lot of things. Ikwa amari kuma jamale fali je. Including the fact that um they were going to deal with you. Ka foko atele ko nun ko ibe ku kelala. Mm-hmm. Ha. Yes, he was the guy who said it. And that even if you don't die, you would not be um whole again. Ka fale hanali man fa al talifan na fala ko ta tele yo fale. Ha. Yes, it's the same man. And he essentially said you deserved such a treatment because you were acting like men. And lo telefonan ko ko atelu atelu mukelle tal banya ay tan le kal mukelle. Ha. Yes. At that point what was going through your mind when you heard those words? O tembo biriya biriya la ko kuma kangu moy muna be ima e sonno moko nonu. Hanin ke bi ngala la sidin sonno moko no garo. Wala jomon ku no namen ke alat. Through all that ordeal I just had faith in God because I knew that nobody can do anything without God's destiny. So after he said that you said you were taken along with Fatima Tajawara Bilinga yo kumol fo tembolo ye ni Fatima Tajawara Samba Nyola ha and yes. some other people and in modulu ha yes do you remember how many other people were taken along with you fo hakilo si bula bang ya telu menu Samba mo jellem ha ni no sutole it was at night you told us that um they took you away Can you continue telling us what happened um after they took you away from Mile 2 prison? Biri yali bondi Mile 2 kasola bitun sayin a fonyen yali samba min tola ni menketa. Yam bondi Mile 2 kasoto. Mhm. When you were taken from Mile 2, yam samba banjul NI. They took us to Banjul at the NIA premises. You already told us that um this was some time after you prayed the nafila prayers. Eko keta briya nafilo ke foka pare wala mu na tali samba. Ha. Yes. Can you tell us what happened when you arrived at the NIA? Briali futa da NIA mune keta je. Ya futa da NIA ngi ta mutu ko no. When we arrived at the NIA we alighted from the truck. Ntelo be wuri kawala. By that time I heard people shouting screaming. Mol be wurola. People were screaming. Urobe dimindi and that screaming was high and 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 too much ngata ho fatma ta jawara then i said to fatma fatma ta jawara ngai dinni wala muti i told her you are a young person ngo ngai kana sila i told her don't be afraid ngo allah taala man so sinti ta isondo moto i told her to have her faith in god ngai jom man ku no jonna alalem i said a person cannot do anything to a person without the will of god ngo ndulo be wuri kawo min na jam I the shouting and the screaming I am hearing here. Ngai hera ti janne ngo nga ala doro. I told her there is no peace here. There is no peace taking place in this place. Only God can can help us here. Ngati le ala kol tama ikana motu kuma ikana kan la mol. I told her well don't 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 blame anybody. Don't do anything also. Let's just have faith in God. Ngai ala doro. Uh, it's only Allah. Na 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 tan samba ofiso do ko no. 
By the time they took us into an office. Before that, when Janu you Obekela. heard people shouting and screaming, mm. what did you think was happening to those people? Mm. Uh -huh. I know, I know what was happening. Mm. It could be that mm. they were being beaten. They were being seriously tortured. Mm. And from where was that, um, those shouting and screamings, from where were they coming from? It was the, the screamings were coming from the, the interior part of the NIA uh, compound. Do you recall for how long you heard the shouting and screaming? I heard it, it took a long time. The screaming went on for a long time. You said after that um, you were taken to a room? Uh, yes. Can you tell us what happened next? When we, took, they, we were taken into that room myself, Farmata Jawara, Lang Marong, Falan Sonko. They, we were made to sit on a table. A, a, a man came there and started asking us. My name and show name. I told, I told him my name and show name. He asked me. We came out, but why did you people come out? Why did you people come out? But why did you people come out? Why did you people come out? Why did you people come out? I told him, well, the reason that uh, took me out of my house, I was going for a marriage ceremony. He said, no, that's not true. That didn't bring you out. You people have, have been sent. That's why you come. That's why you came out. I told him, there is no need for me to tell you lies. What happened? That's what I'm going to say. He said, then, if you don't tell us the truth today, he shouted and insulted me. I told him, whatever you do, I, I, I swear to God, I said, uh, a, a man, a human being swearing is what I believe. I, I, I will not do anything else. After that, somebody also entered from the from the door. He also insulted a very nasty insult and said, "We should get up from that chair." He said, "We should sit down on the ground." I refused to get up when I saw him coming. I got up. And he came and kicked the chair. The chair hit Langmarong on his side. Uh, I became very, very, very unhappy. He said, let me sit down on the ground. I said, I will not sit on the ground. I told him, this chair that you removed us from. I told him, you just have powers in your hand, but this chair belongs to all of us. I said, but Allah is better than all of us. He said, you are calling Allah, 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 but after we deal with you, you will forget about who is Allah. I said, well, don't call me mayor, call me your, your, your age mate. After that, do comfort. Another one came who was also very angry. And he said that as far as I didn't speak the truth, those others will not speak the truth. A man came and stood at the door and said, Fatu Kamara. I said, yes. He said, come. When I was going out, I was looking at that man. On the whole, somebody was standing around my left side, whom I didn't even see. The moment I took out, I took out my leg, he put a bag over my head. When he put that bag over my head, 
they took me up and took me uh, 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 to another place. He took me uh, into a room and put me on a bed. It was just like a table. He said, Fatu Kamara, I'm questioning you, you refuse to talk the uh, speak the truth. And I said, Fatu Kamara, I'm questioning you, you refuse to talk the uh, speak the truth. Who sent you people out? I told him, nobody sent us out. I said, I was going to a marriage ceremony. He, he told me that you cannot be a chairwoman. Something like this happens and you were not aware. I told him something that I am not aware of. I will not tell you lies. He called another man called Haruna. He said, Haruna, bring the sticks. When Haruna brought in the sticks, he said, let me open my mouth. I closed my mouth. I said, no, I will not open my mouth. He caught hold of my neck and said, oh, and my throat and said, let me open my mouth. I said, no, I will not open my mouth. When I refused to open my mouth, he said, let them get hold of my hands and legs. Some, get hold of my, some got hold of my legs, some held my hands. I was lying on that table. They beat me up and beat me and beat me until I fainted. I, I fainted. I wasn't aware of anything. When I became unconscious, they, they, they lifted me up. They took me out. They poured cold water on me. I was lying there for quite a long time. When wind blew over me, uh, I regained consciousness. When I regained consciousness, I realized that I was lying in grass. I became puzzled what brought me into this grass. So what was around my face, covering my face, I wanted to remove it. I cannot, I was unable to. That was, that was the time I called Allah's name. I called Allah's name and I said thanks to Allah. After that they said, oh, she's not dead. They came back for me again. They came after me into that grass and started whipping me up, lip beating me up again. Well, I went on calling Allah's name, La ilaha illallah. A man came there running. I don't know him. He told them, stop, this, ma this woman is causing you people. They started arguing amongst themselves. They said, she's, she's uh, uh, calling uh, Allah's name, but she's not causing us. They tell you for you to live. They said, when they were arguing themselves, they said, men, ca men cannot call Allah's name. It is the women who have sweet voices. They were arguing with that man. Until that man was able to uh, get me out of their hands. Okay, that man also lifted me up. He took me and placed me at another place on the whole that one. That place also was a door. I was lying at that door. Uh, my throat went dry. I told them to give me some water to drink. Somebody brought some water for me. I just wanted to raise off my head to drink water. Somebody came and kicked that cup of water and, and, and the water all poured away. 
So I was unable to drink, I was just left lying there. What the things that were placed on my head, I was trying to remove it from my head. The place, the door where he placed me, somebody came out of that room. When that man also came and found me lying there, he also kicked me. Madam Camera, please take your time. Madam Camera, ilawa tota. We're here to listen to you, so take all the time that you need. Mbijang purke tele la moi ilawa tota ya doman doman. If you would like to take a break, um, please let me know. Natara ilafte dahala doman din drong yo watin din ta ye niji afonye. And he kicked me, I, I fell down again. When I wanted to get up, I was unable to get up. I was just lying down there, they came again and lifted me up from there. Some held on the other side, the others held the other side. They took me to another room. When they took me to that room, they made me sit down on a chair. They asked me, they called, tell, told me, Fatu Kamara. At that time, I was even unable to speak. I said, uh huh. They said, I was asking you and you refused to tell us the truth. They were insulting me, very nasty insults. Those insults, any sane person, a good person, will not even utter words like that. I told them, whatever happens, I cannot tell you lies. I think at that time, most of their leaders were there. There was a table around there. There was a man called Tamba Masire among them there. By that time, Tamba Masire was also shouting. You get decided to give me vinegar. Saying that I was, I'm going to kill all of them. Give me some vinegar. I'm going to kill all of them. He was, he went on insulting continuously. So when they asked me, I was unable to talk. I also saw Fatma Jawara there. They brought her also for her to talk. If I want to talk, when I open my mouth. My chest becomes congested. There was a man who informed them that this woman's tongue is now limp. She cannot talk. She said, no, but I, I, I have to talk. They were arguing amongst themselves. Again, I fell down and fainted. I was unable, I, I, I didn't, uh, uh, I was not conscious anymore. When I came to, when I, when I became conscious, I found myself in another room. I was lying in that room. They brought in Jawara. When they brought in Nogoi, 
when no go lie down ndi wurta do no go ko je ako sara hola musoy fana bi jan when i shouted then no go said ah you sara hola mu man you are also here nga ha bi jan i said yes i am here biru na way en ko mota ya lasi moka then no go took my head and put it on her uh, uh, on her legs fam ya ta nyem bloka ti woto mon ko for a long time i was there a nyabe mine na ko Or by that time I was having a serious headache and I was also dizzy. No guy will let on yama. No guy got up. Neti ko be dam yo mol ko mol bute dam neti ko be dam no guy ta ti ko kam. Where they were beating us that's where I left my head tie. Then no guy went for my head tie. No guy na ta en ko sit fa bambad. No guy came and tied up my head until it was really strong. Man na ku kala muta kwata ke. Again I didn't re- I, I I went unconscious from the suit or from the clothes my feeling feeling calamut whether it was day time or night time I was unable to know whatever for till over na ji la wato min until in the late evening we ke do na ti je ko doctor a man was a man came in there and they said a doctor sa e bitu biro na ta wona ta molu cheki ji when he came and and uh, checked us wa do tolo na to ti to kalamade but uh, the doctor's name i cannot remember mo kalamuta ah ya kalamuta le ma kalamuta mo kalamuta i was i was even aware of the doctors uh, coming there sa bi to biro keta after that so ku ta wona ta mo samba lopital ni moto late at night they took us to a small hospital mbe la ni je fofa no keta i was lying there until day break na keta sibitoti then it was on a saturday nga santo bi djube te nga santo bi djube no goy ko nyako fatu kay ko na i looked up and no goy told me fatu i said yes mala na la kila tantu la ko nyi nyanta tantu la kende she told me that well uh, we should thank god ngay jandu ko e jamu lop ta no let i asked her where is this place what is this place she said this place is a hospital ko nyi doctor na tan pour canal djube She told me that a doctor came to come and check you people. Nga fay fo ba murna nan kote ke malo. I told him but I don't know whether he'll come again to come and check you up. Bara ko na bal piengula len te man so. But he said he was going to inject you people but I said no he shouldn't do that. O tal sala ke lo tal fanam be ngam ko rasim fan. So we should all be careful let's all be careful about ourselves. Time bi mo le tan ko beta jon ko to na tan bla pousu so ko no. Then when I got up and I wanted to go to the restroom I had to sit in a wheelchair. Yurin tata jon ko ton kam min suguna be mu yelote. When I went to the restroom all what I urinated was only blood. Til le temps ani lolo kam min suguna be mu yelote. For 15 good years I was urinating blood. Diro kata sanko doctor oni nata ko tek. 15 good days. Til tani lolo fo til le temps ani lolo. 15 days. I was urinating blood. Biri doctor na ta ko nyen na ta pour ke ipengu. Then the doctor came and said I came here to inject you. Not a yellow be banal. If not your your the blood coming out of your body will be exhausted. Dan yellow ban te be falal. And if there is no more blood in your body you will die. Nka en te tem pengu la de. I said no I will not have any injection. Kon to mo doctor Sanya. His name was Dr. Sanyan. Ako de le aduma le nan tem pengula do nyen suguna be ke yelote. Ask me why are you not not ready to be injected and still you are urinating blood. Ni do me pengu ibe fala. If we don't inject you you are going to die. Nga Dr. Sanyan. I said Dr. Sanyan. Nga ndela ana la kila tantu bake. I said I I give thanks to the almighty Allah. Man so mi nyala nga tantu. The almighty Allah who created me I I I give thanks to him Ngai Dr. Sayan te be banta nga kuma kuma mo en tloto fanka so soro ke Allah taala man so ya itandi naja Said Dr. Sayan when I was free outside I used to hear a lot of things but now I have seen it with my own eyes Ngai fam fala te ki la jela I said uh, somebody who committed suicide will never see the prophet nka ente sonte te ente pengu bi be falal if i allow you to inject me i will die ban nga lo ka fa ko alla do ko molete i know that's what you are doing to people here nka embe dami nim fat 
I said if I die now, I put me in a blanket and give me to my people. They will uh, wash me up and pray for me and they will bury me. Madam Kamara, thank you very much for um, telling us what happened. Madam Kamara, we will come back um, to the information after the break. And I will ask you a few follow up questions. And then we will continue from where you left off. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, it's time for the break. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Emma Council. And thank you, Mrs. Kamara. I'm truly sorry that you had to endure such um, a brutal and a horrific torture in the hands of um, uh, agents of the state. Chiamanko is a hacker to Ninkata Balafati, Yetajirean, in Kruya Membekela, Mfangulu La Banku Dingulu, Menukwebe, Dokuola, Mansa Kundai, Woleo, Jawiake, and Nu Tajirea, Ewole Ketela Teng. We will take a 30 minute break and then come back at five minutes after midday. Mbita Miniti Tansabada Hala, Mbemurula Nanjang, Nintalantan, Nimfulatam, Bita Miniti Lulula. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.